So this game came out in 2017 and I still haven't beaten it yet. Let's fix that, shall we? Let's get it. And superhero landing. Is it cringe to make that joke in 2020? The game is great. Like what what isn't there to praise about this game? The music, the characters, the art, this game is fucking gorgeous. The gameplay, the bosses, the lore. Have you seen the lore on this game, by the way? There's a lot. Oh my God. There is a lot going on behind the scenes in this game that is like th that you have to discover. It's so good. There's, this game is it it's so deep. This little game about cute little bug people, and you wouldn't expect it to be so so rich with lore. But yeah, here we are. Oh there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quite far. Wow, wow. I can't read today. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks to its depths. Sickly air that fills this place, creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. That's sad. Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, it's my, it's my boy. Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've got a strong, uh, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It suddenly gives off a unique air. Can it be open? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what the other marvels lie- oh god. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. I can't read. What is wrong with me? I love Quirrell. Quirrell's like one of my favorite characters in this game. It feels very weird. I like I know it's been a long, like I said, it, it's been a while since I played this game, but it feels weird going from my old save file to this. You know, back then, uh, back on my old save file, I have like most of the upgrades and a lot of uh, charms to like, this is literally like vanilla, vanilla night. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I feel like a first round draft trick, draft pick, that ended up being like a bust in his first year. He got traded in his second and then was a free agent by his third and now I'm on the street. No money, no double jump, <laughs> no dash, nothing. <laughs> I think Hollow Knight would be like one of my, uh, it's actually one of my low key most wanted characters for Smash. It's a, it's a long shot, you know, but it would be so sick if this character got into Smash. Because the moveset would be, like, there, there's so much they can do with his moveset. And judging based on what Sakurai has done with, like, the most, the most recent few characters, Hollow Knight would be sick. Easy money. I only got hit once. <laughs> I feel like that enemy trips up a lot of people in their first playthrough, but because I'm a fucking pro OG, none of that. None of that here. We got to rescue, my, rescue our little grub friend. Best part of the game, by the way. 10 out of 10. Like, this game was already like a 10 out of 10. The grubs make it like a 15 out of 10. They're easily the best part of this game. They're so fucking adorable. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I feel like all of my voices have sounded exactly the same so far. <laughs> A map can be a useful thing, but alone it won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a, I suggest purchasing a compass for my wife is Zelda. I have not gotten a flawless reading of a character yet. That humming is going to be a beacon of salvation later on in the game. You like everyone who's ever played this game comes to love the sound of Cornifer's hum, uh, humming. I hate those little money mounds on the ceiling because the money scatters all over the damn place. Look, look how far down this job. Oh, fuck. Worm thing. Oh my god. 
I didn't know that those could kill enemies. That's sick. <laughs> so little, my little buddies in here. <laughs> you know, for the longest time, I did not find this guy in my original playthrough. I kept coming in this room like, man, I hear a little grub buddy, but I don't know where he is. And I think I ended up hitting the wall by accident and finding him. And I felt so stupid. All right, made it to the stagway. Let's uh, pay this jail and talk to our buddy. All oh, right, first I gotta that. I remember being scared shitless the first time I saw him coming down the stagway, bro. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to die. What is going on? But then he just stopped. Turns out he's friendly. Thank God. Because I feel like this man could beat our ass if he really wanted to. Oh, greetings, little one. It's been an age since I heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. That's a terrible voice and I'm not doing it anymore. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent since before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lines. A web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Hey, I did it! A perfect reading! In a voice! I did it! Ah, <sighs> Bapanada. Well, hello there. Bapanada to you, too. Miss, uh, E. Zelda. What's going on? How, how, how are you doing today? So I can buy the compass. Uh, by the quill so I can update my map now he's spending all his time down there he argues cartography is sound business but other than you who's buying hey if you're feeling a little lonely you know where I am catch you later I'm definitely carried by the compass by the way I never I, I don't know if I'm the only one I'm sure I'm not but I feel like most people were more adventurous than I was and took the compass off for for another charm I only did that for boss fights specifically but like me carried bro I never take this shit off <laughs> I'm so bitch made <laughs> they're, oh, they're filling the room they're filling the room they are filling the room stop it help stop all of you that wasn't supposed to be as difficult as it ended up being <laughs> You know, honestly, I expected to shut up, shut up. Stupid. Yeah, there it is. I was like, I expected to hit those spikes, and sure enough, this is why you don't speak too soon. You know, it's so easy to get lost in this game, but honestly, I don't mind getting lost in this game. Everything is so nice to look at, and like I, you know, like I said already, the gameplay is just so fluid, nice, and satisfying that like getting lost doesn't even feel like a punishment. Oh, I can't go up that way yet. I can't. I don't have my double jump. It's so tempting to get that mash fragment, mash shard. I forget what they call heart pieces. Give me my money. Yo, what? I lost. <laughs> I haven't seen Friday in a long time. I need to watch that movie again. Be free, little buddy. It's like just when you feel like you're getting tired from being lost, then you rescue a grub, but they give you all the strength and energy you need to continue. I love them. I love them so much. I would, if anything were to happen to them, I would kill everyone in the room and then myself. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. Are you proud of that? I kinda got a question from a man's corner for here, right? Corner for is in just about every single area of the game, including the deepness, which is like the most terrifying hellhole in the game. How did, like, how was he getting there? And how is he surviving on his own? Can he fight? I feel like Cornifer might be, might have a hands, bro. I would not want to fuck with him. Chill.